Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which we're gonna learn Yellow Lemon Tree. Yep, the classic rock song. So first, I'm gonna play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes. Then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord position by chord position, everything with tabs right here on the screen as usual. Goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so this song has four parts. It has the verse, it has the chorus, it has the dum da 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 dee dum dum part, and it has the bridge. So for the verse, I would like you to put your first finger on the fifth fret on strings one, two, and three. Now, for those of you following this channel, this is my favorite form of A minor. So it's five, five, five on strings one, two, and three with the A bass, okay? So the first line is this, right? Now you can play it in several different ways. You can play, okay? Or you can play, okay? you can play it as a solo, you can harmonize, just play around with it. The basic line is the second string twice. Okay, the second time with the A bass or with the chord. And then again. And then you play strings one, one, two. Now to make it interesting, just add a little bit of groove to it. Feel the song, imagine the lyrics as you play it. Okay, that's also always a good tip. Okay? And um, I always like to harmonize, as you know. Okay, so I harmonize with the lower notes. You can choose not to if you like, you can do, you can slide. Um, so just find your own expression. And then you have, okay, so it's three, three on the second string with the E bass and three on the first string. Now you can harmonize the, uh, the three on the second string with the open third. So, okay, you can also vibrate. Okay. And then you have the same first line, basically. But it's um, on, instead of strings one and two, it's on strings two and three. So it's two, 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 three. Okay. okay. 
So it's even simpler and you can use that last note to vibrate, okay? Because otherwise it's, it's too boring. If you just play it like this, okay, it's too boring. You have to inject life into it. So slide, vibrate, harmonize, okay? Play with the lengths of the notes, that's important. Okay, and then you can play the third string again if you want. Okay, you don't have to. And then you have this. Okay, it's again 3-3 three, three or 3-3-3 three, three, three on the second string with the open third string. And then it's 5 and 4 on strings 2 and 3. So it's... Okay, now um, the motif here is that there's always one note before the bass note. Okay, so it's... Okay. Okay. That's the motif here. It's always one note before the bass note. So pay attention to that. That makes the whole song. That's the, that's the rhythm motif. Um, then you can play the same thing. Or you can change the first A minor and E minor to this. Okay, and then. Okay, so it's um, again five, five into A, and then another five on the second string, and then five, eight on the first string. So you can harmonize that as well. Okay, and then you have a legitimate. E minor chord. It's seven, eight, nine on strings one, two, and three. It's the Y is six afraid of seven chord. So, okay, with the open E bass. So, and then, okay, now I know that the original line is this. Okay, but try playing it with A minor. Doesn't, doesn't really sound good. You get A sus or A minor um, at 11. This is not the way to play it. And if you play it as a solo, it doesn't sound good either. Okay, because it sounds, again, it sounds suspended. That's why I prefer going back to the first line. Okay? It's all a conscious choice. And then... Okay, it's, uh, it's five on the second string, and then it's D minor, but you need your four finger for one on the second string. So you just play three and two on strings two and three with the D string, and then, okay, one, three, one, three, back to E, so you play the E bass, and then the open E string. So it's, okay, E bass, and the open E string. And then, okay, a blues line. Okay, you can just do a fast line. Okay, um, it's a five five on the second string. Fast slide to three. Pull off to one. A. Okay, it's A right after the slide. And then you pull off and play two on the third string. And then you can play E minor. Okay, uh, at the end there. And that's the verse. Okay, so. And then. And then. And then D minor, D minor. E minor seven again. Can do you can do harmonics if you want then you have the chorus it's it's the open e string three times um and again you play a note and then you play the c chord with it and then okay it's three again and then three with g and then slide to five on e you don't have to slide but i do 
and then three on the second string, you can play the G bass again with your thumb if you want. Right? And then you have a minor. It strings two, three, two, three, two, three, two. And then three on the second string. E bass with, okay? Slide from three to five on the second string with the E bass. And then three on the E string. And then five and four on strings uh, two and three. Okay, so you get a D minor shape. This is now E minor because D, D sharp, E, E minor. So E, and then you have F, just the beginner F, not a barred F. Okay, a uh, small F chord, the way I like to call it. Um, and then it's, uh, it, it, you play three on the second string with your little finger first, and then you play it with the chord. Okay, so it's, and then one, 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 and then three again on the second string with G. So it's F and G, and then, It's one three one three one on the second string, and then C add nine with three on the second string, and then the open E string twice, and then I'm um, sorry G seven like this, like this, like this. Okay, uh, seven uh, six seven. This actually sounds nice here. like this you can play the bass first and then play the chord if you want g7 any way you want to play it then it's zero one three on the e string uh you can play a, a zero be before the chord so you can play the open e string and then c and then zero one three with the c bass and then Okay, um, it's three five on E and three on B again with G. So use your thumb. Okay, again you can play the open E string first. Okay, and then you have the same A minor E minor line, and then you have. Okay, it's F again. You play three on the E string and then F with three, one, one, zero. And then G with three on the second string. And then one, three, one, three on the second. Open first. And then C with three, one, one on the second string. And then you have G7 again. Okay, any way you want to play it. So that's your chorus. C, G, A minor. E minor. F, G, C, G7, C, G, A minor, E minor. Now you have the dum 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 part, which is A minor, just with the open E string. And then, okay, it's E with zero one three zero on the E string. And then, A minor again on five with second, first, second strings. You can harmonize as usual. Okay. Then you have E again with zero one three zero, and then you have this. Okay, it's five on the E string with your little finger, with D, so it's D minor, and then three and two on strings two and three twice. So it's E, and then okay, three on the second string. Open first, you can slide. Okay, and then. 3-1 on the 2nd string, 
two two on the third back to a minor and then e minor again that's the dum dum da dum 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 part the isolation part goes like this it's E it's E major so make sure you have the one on the third string so okay one on the third string with zero one one zero on the first string so. and then you have A with three one three pull off to one on the second two two on the third bluesy and then G okay G bass three on the second open first twice three on the second then you have C with the open E string okay three times and then three pull off to one on the second string and then you have okay again same uh, E line Okay, E major, 0, 1, 1, 0 on the E string. Remember, 1 on the 3rd string. This is E major, not E minor. So, E, A minor, G, and then C, and E. And that's your lesson for... Yellow Lemon Tree. So thank you very much for watching. Go download the tab from the website for free. The link is below in the description. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are hundreds, literally hundreds of free lessons for your guitar education. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.